Welcome back. This is going to be look number three. We always start with, oh, this chapstick is almost done because it's not really winding up. I really be going through some chapstick, y'all. Crazy Troll Nation crazy because we just start our videos any kind of way. The troll part is not caring too much what the beauty community standards of beauty are. Set your own standard. Love you for who you are and for how you look. Embrace your natural features. Enhance them when you want to, but not because you feel like you have to. And also, using whatever brand tool or technique excuse me, you want to use because you're the one buying what you buy. Don't fall into you have to have certain things because you don't, okay? So that is the concept of the Crazy Troll Nation, enjoying what you use and using what you want to, loving yourself for who you are and for how you look. This is what else you will see here. I don't know why I just felt so rushed trying to do that. So we're going to do another look with the new Hudson Valley palette using the colors we did not use before. We used 11 of the 15 shades in the first two looks. We did a two-tone look, one look on one eye, another look on the other eye using quads based on how they group the shades in their IG reveal on IG. I'm speaking troll. What's funny to me is when I think about, some of you really know what I be saying, even when I be saying stuff backwards. So this is NYX Retractable Eyeliner in silver. We're gonna put NYX Retractable Eyeliner in gray on the outer half of our lower lash line. Our lids are already primed, so we are almost ready to go. I really like the looks I did before I just didn't like that I had an issue with blending and I don't know what that's about. So we'll see today if there's a difference. And so we're going to be using for lower lash line, Scott Barnes number 60. I am just out of it today. Am I ever really not out of it though? Fenty number 230 brush and Esom V33. The shades we did not use yesterday, this is upside down was Fall Festival, Oktoberfest, Farmer's Market, and Bed and Breakfast. Those are the only four we didn't use on our lids yesterday. This one is Leaf Peeping, which we used to top our lipstick. I wanted to do a black or a dark brown, I really did, but I was trying to do something new to make that bullet lipstick, the shade that I hate, work. So we're gonna use this one on the center of our lid. Is that what we're doing? That's what my notes say. So this is going on the sensor. I want to see how it looks on its own. And that is a pretty shade. And you notice that I am using a brush versus a sponge tip applicator because I wanted to see how it was going to apply directly on top of a primer. And I think it's showing up nice. Should we do sponge tip applicator on the other eye just to see if it is more intense? I have a feeling some of you are saying yes. I'm concerned that the sponge tip will drag over this primer because I'm not going to be able to tap, I don't think, like I can with a brush. This shade is nice. Nice, nice, nice. So that is that. All right, all right, I hear you. Sponge tip applicator, taking that same shade. I might be able to pull it across. Let's see. Um, yeah, mm. it is okay. If I pat, what happens? If I pat, it looks patchy. All right, so let's, yeah, does it look the same? I think it looks more orangey. Let me continue and then assess once it's there, once it's all over, and see if there's a difference instead of stopping and looking back and forth. Hmm. It is deeper. It's looking just a tad more saturated. This is still good though. So you don't have to use a sponge chip. Sponge chip. These are not chips. Sponge tip <laughs> applicator. <laughs> but if you do want it a little bit deeper, a little more saturated, then yes. But I do still think this is really good. So we're going to take the sponge tip. And we're 
going to put that over here just so they look the same. Or I could have took the brush and patted it on the other side to see if that would have made it look the same as well. So this is, as usual, an experiment. And I usually don't experiment too much when I first get a palette because I want to just get them on in a way that I think that'll look nice so that the looks are not busted. I am digging this. I'm telling y'all, sponge tips. If you don't want to use your finger and you don't want to use your brush, sponge tip applicators, babies. Babies. Who am I today? What is going on? I do feel weird. Like, I don't know what's going on with me. And I did sleep okay. I know I'm partly miserable because I got this rash thing that's still going on, which is why my neck is shining because I got Vaseline all over it. Um, yeah, so my skin is itchy and I'm feeling kind of miserable because I'm itchy. So we're going to put that down. We're going to flip the brush over and we're going to go into Fall Festival, this shade here, and we're going to put that on our inner and we're going all the way in. Okay. And we are going to bring that over and we're also going to put that on the outer corner and we are taking it all the way out and we are going to overlap can you guess what we're doing today i wrote these notes this morning before i went to sleep and so hopefully it'll come out um the way my mind thought it was going to <laughs> so we're going to do the same thing on this side thank you for being here i do realize i'm not editing a lot and so i appreciate you hanging with me through this then maybe I should edit some out right or do you enjoy just watching me and hearing me talk about whatever and I know some of you multitask you know you do other things while my video is on and so you don't mind me talking because you can just hear what I'm saying and then just glance up and see okay yeah she's still doing her outer corner I didn't miss anything <laughs> I I like this I am liking this. We're just pulling this up just a little bit. I don't even know if we have a transition shade. I think we do. This is what I would call a spotlight look. When you just have this color right in the middle and there's not a bridge between the inner and outer corner across the transition area. But I do think we have a transition shade. I'm going to take the sponge tip because this side I'm noticing is up a little higher. That um, center lid shade. And so we're just going to... Put a little bit right here. Now why is my shadow usually uneven? Because the view up here is different than the view down here because my mirror here is tilted up and so it looks different because of the angle of what I see. I think that looks better. So we're going to take a clean, the clean one and go into Oktoberfest, this shade here. And we're going to do this on inner and outer corner but not innermost and not outermost. And so we're just going to Ooh, this shade, y'all. So we're going to start like right here. So not all the way out. This is the best way I've learned to do a halo eye. And for inner corner, we're going to start here. So not all the way in. And that'll give us a natural gradient. And we'll still have that initial blend from when we took the first inner and outer corner shade all the way in and all the way out. So this is how I realized I needed to do a halo eye because when they were saying, put this shade in a corner, out a corner, okay, do that. Put this shade in a corner, out a corner, I would do that. But the second inner and outer corner shade would overpower the first one. And so my inner and outer corner was just looking really dark. And I'm like, okay, so why did I just put a shade there just to cover it up? And so I like how this is looking here we want to go back and forth a little bit. I'm not really liking this right here. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to feather. It's not moving. That blending issue I had before, that's what I'm having. Like this is not blending. We're going to go back with that first brush. Oof, thankfully, it fell into my lap. We're not adding shadow right now, but we're going to try and just pull over that first outer corner shade. That is not moving. I don't know. That is not blending. 
that is not blending like you see this right i'm going back and forth i'm putting significant pressure which i didn't want to do that is not blending like this here looks fine kind of sort of this is not blending this same brush i did not add any shadow so we're just going to just overlap all the way out to the outermost corner just to try to get a blend i don't understand wow i have never had an issue with nomads mats not blending and it seems to be the darker ones well even when i tried to just blend it blend that lighter shade back in it didn't want to do that i'm going to edit out doing the same thing on this eye <laughs> I don't know y'all like I like it but then I don't I do need a transition shade because this I'm not liking how this is looking up here <sighs> okay so I don't know what farmers market would look like as transition I really don't think that would go with this look and the other shade is bed and breakfast we're going to do lower lash line <laughs> and then come back to up here because I need to figure this out so this is, excuse me, so rude. First half lower lash line, this half, second half lower lash line. And do I wanna use a fluffy brush? I'm gonna use the Fenty these brushes instead of the ones I showed you earlier. This is Fenty number 220. So farmer's market, we're gonna put it here. We're gonna take the clean brush and go into bed and breakfast. And that's gonna go over here. So at this point, we've used every shade in this palette. I'm not really liking how this is not covering. So we're gonna go back with that gray NYX retractable eyeliner and cover up that silver spot right here. We're gonna take this brush. Did I just show you this? I am so out of it. Isom V33. And we're going to go into this shade, which is apple cider vinegar. It's not apple cider donut. <laughs> Y'all, I'm out of it. We're just going to buff under here. Tapping into it again, buff out under here. And we're going to take this shade as our transition shade. And hopefully this will not mess up the look. Um, I do think that this shade will look nice up here. But we're just mixing colors. We're just doing stuff. We're experimenting. Down here, like this looks nice. I'm still not happy with whatever that was over there that wasn't working. This is still apple cider donut. Do you guys remember when people used to do donuts with their cars? If you do, you're definitely over 40, probably even over 30. But let me know if you remember that. I be having weird memories with stuff, right? Apple cider donut eyeshadow, and I'm thinking of doing donuts in a car. How does that even connect? Because it's a donut. <laughs> Welcome to Crazy Troll Nation, baby. That's looking a little... Eh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Alright, we're going to put that brush down and we're going to take a clean one of the same sort. And we are going to go into this shade here, which is Cider House. Will that make it too bright? Let's see. This is when you really just be playing... Well, I should say me. <laughs> I don't think this is doing anything over this. Using a fluffy brush in here, this is giving me quite a bit of kick up in the pan. I don't think that made any type of difference. <laughs> oh, man. I'm having fun, though. So we're tapping in. Hmm. I feel like I'm losing some of this right here. So we're actually gonna take a stiff brush. This is an hourglass number nine. And we're gonna go back into leaf peeping. And we tap straight in. And we're gonna put this right here. Did that make a difference? I didn't tap off this time. What is happening? What is happening? You know why? Because it's over shadow and not over primer. So you see the difference, right? Because when I first put it on, even this side with the brush, it showed up. 
And this side with the sponge tip applicator, it made it look a little bit deeper, more saturated. But this, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> All right, let me try to get it together. And I'm pressing hard. There we go, let me go back in. I'm pressing hard with this brush, and this is a dense brush, and so it is good for And you see my skin moving? You see this? Like, I am really pressing. Let's go back to the sponge tip. <laughs> the sponge tip show, I'm telling you, look at that. There we go. There we go. There we go. I kind of want to take something bright underneath the lower lash line, but then I don't. There's a lot of kick up from using that fluffy brush. So at this point, we've used every shade in this palette. I do think this is different. I do really enjoy the technique I used to do, the Halo Eye. And this is, I think, the second best Halo Eye I've done. And maybe because the colors actually blend into each other versus it being a stark difference. And I do... For me, doing the center first and then taking innermost innermost, and then outermost and then the second shade here and not all the way out or all the way in. That works for me to do a halo eye because as I said, if you say outer corner, inner corner, that's what I'm going to do. Put the second shade outer corner, inner corner, that's what I'm going to do. And I'll say it again. This is for you, Andy. Does stuff. I may know what you say, but I don't always know what you mean. And I said that <laughs> to her <laughs> in the IGDM. She's like, I'm watching your video and you just said the same exact thing. And I'm like, eh. so that's for you. But yeah, it is true. I'm going to edit out doing liner. I'm going to use a black. Do I want to use a brown? We're going to use a black. And we're going to use the Sills Boost Mascara Primer, Charlotte Silvery Mascara. And then we'll come back and do a lip. We're gonna take off some chapstick, and yes, I'm using a Q-tip. Cause I don't have a cloth in front of me. I have some not too far. But it would take me a couple minutes to get to it. We're gonna take Dose of Colors lipstick, and this one is in shade Chocolate Wasted. I wanted to do a dark lip in the last look I did, but I was trying to experiment with that um, hideous bullet lipstick. I like how it turned out tapping, leaf popping on top of it. But I don't think that would be a combo I would do unless it was for a specific purpose or a challenge or something. I liked it, it just wasn't me. I did dip back in. When I dip back in, I always think about how with the Fenty Stunners, I never have to do that. And I'm using the tip to run across my lip line to try to get it to look even because it's not even. Hmm. I think I'm going to just leave it like this. Do I want to top it with something? I do, but is it teeing too much? Cause we only have these three shimmers here you know what we're gonna leave it we're gonna leave it we're gonna leave it so this is the look we're done let me know what you think do you think you'll get this palette is this your color story hmm yeah and so that'll be it and something will pop up for you to watch here if you're interested in nomad i do have a 10 percent off code the code is non-affiliated and it is Dion, D-I-O-N. Very simple. I'm a simple troll. So, yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks.